Hello everyone, this is Max again, he, him, his, um, and today we're going to be talking about a little bit more about my favorite thing, in case you haven't caught on already, heels. Um, so today we're looking at another pair of Gian Vito Rossi's. As I've said before, I think Gian Vito Rossi makes classic designs, um, beautiful pumps, often very simple. I personally like simple. Um, the heel is complex enough, uh, so keep it simple. Um, so with this pair, we're going to talk a little bit more about sizing and price. Um, these run a tiny bit narrow. Uh, they're a tiny bit too small for me. Um, I generally wear a size 43 when it comes to pumps. Um, however, 43 is very difficult to come by. Um, also, you know, Gian Vito Rossi is not in my budget. Um, however, you can find um, nice pieces on places like ukes.com, um, Saks Off Fifth, especially during the sales season. Um, often they will run higher sizes um, with much lower prices. Um, so to the people who don't conform to um, the gender, the traditional gender binary, um, people who run the spectrum or just um, cisgender men, um, sometimes you can find stuff. However, um, designers aren't really that good about giving um, sizes to people that, you know, have larger feet. Um, but, you know, <clears throat> People like uh, Billy Porter are um, collaborating with designers like Jimmy Choo to deliver sizes that go up to like size 46 or something like that with heels. Um, and when that collaboration came out, when it was announced, I was like, I, I got very excited. But then my heart kind of sank when I saw the prices of the heels. Um, but they are becoming more accessible. Um, so let, let's take a look at the Gian Vito Vitello Texas. These are beautiful, fairly conservative, lower pump. Um, I would call it a kitten heel. It's probably about 75 millimeters, maybe 80 millimeters. Um, but very beautiful design, very classic, um, nice sling back. I love this buckle that um, he sometimes includes on his shoes. Um, very solid design. Normally, I do like suede a little bit more than flat leather. But in this case, I think this is perfect. Um, you know, the, the heel itself is perfect. I've had a pair of cowboy boots designed for um, traditional men that our, that are probably maybe a tiny bit lower than this. So it's not a crazy heel. It's not going to kill your calves, and it's not going to kill the balls of your feet. Um, getting my foot into this, which I've, I've tried already, um, you know, it, it takes a little bit of um, patience. Um, and, you know, my, my heel comes out to right about here, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, However, it's manageable because of the sling back. If this were just a traditional stiletto pump, I would not be able to get my foot in here. Um, so additionally, comes with the leather slash authenticity card, comes with a pretty bag that matches the box. Um, this bag, you know, uh, holds the shoes. I use it as padding inside the box, so I kind of let it get pretty wrinkled. Um, and as always, Hopefully your shoes come in twos. Um, but otherwise, you know, the rounded or the squared rounded point on these shoes is perfection. There's just something that looking down at my feet in these, I, I just love it. Um, so without further ado, let's try these on. So as you can see, they have a tiny bit of lift. They are very, very comfortable. Slightly too small, but again, 
that kind of comes with the territory of wearing women's heels when you're supposed to be a size 43. They've got very subtle toe cleavage. Love some toe cleavage. Fits my long spidery toes. They walk well. Could stay in these for hours as opposed to the sandals I showed earlier by the same designer. Um, I give those two hours. I give these pretty much all day. Um, these these are very comfortable and I can feel the support within them. Um, there's no wobble to them unless I like really try. Um, and that's just like not real wobble. Um, they're kitten heels. Um, sometimes I have trouble when I um, go to walk and I end up dragging the heel with these. This is not the case. Um, they're simply just perfection. I'll be a little bit conservative. However, they're just pretty. So let's talk about a few things here. There's representation um, along with, which goes hand in hand with sizing. Um, and also there's uh, price. So with these, as I said earlier, probably couldn't afford the market price for them. Um, I believe I got them on Ukes. Don't quote me on that, though. Um, additionally, um, representation matters. Um, you know, the gender spectrum is not is non-binary. So therefore, um, you know, representation um, in media, in what we consume matters. So would I like to see these in the size 43 to 46 higher? Yes, I, I would love to see that. Um, in the meantime, that's not easily accessible. And like you could go to Jimmy Choo in the near future. Most people can't afford those prices. I cannot. Um, so there's only maker. Um, and otherwise you're scouring the internet. Um, as far as comfort goes, these are wonderful. Um, but yes, representation to me is very important. Um, I identify as a cisgender man. Um, however, not everybody identifies as cisgender. Um, not everybody identifies as one clear gender, um, so the representation, again, matters, as I keep saying. Um, so these heels are wonderful. Um, love them. Beautiful. Would I wear them outside? No, because um, they are so pretty, and I'm not ready to ruin them yet. Um, I will walk down the street a in Provincetown in those because I've had them for a while and I don't mind ruining them some a little bit more for these right now they're going to stay in the box or on the carpet um so other things that matter um you can wear these in Provincetown in, in Cape Cod specifically in Provincetown walking down the street people pretty much ignore you if I tried doing this back home Probably wouldn't go over so well. Um, however, you know, as you know, a cisgender man, it, it's um, people will see me as just a wackadoodle, I suppose. Um, however, not everybody is afforded the same privileges, um, and that's that's something that society needs to work on. Um, so, with that, these are beautiful. Um, and to all the trans youth and gender non-binary youth out there, we see you, we hear you, and we love you.